Hi, Melissa Kreider, Melissa Kreider Yaks, Yarn Arts, Crochet Knitting, and other stuff. Um, coming to you from Denton, Texas. I'm 37 years old. It's a cold day here in Denton, Texas. I've got my comfy, cozy clothes on to keep me warm. Um, probably most of the winter you'll see me in comfy, cozy clothes. I don't like being cold very much. Um, You'll probably see my dog Ellie close to me. She's about to jump on my lap. Come on. No? You want the blanket? I'll get the blanket. Come on. Um, I'll probably be here with my dog Ellie close to me. Um, next to the space heater. Uh, trying to stay warm. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind seeing me in my casual wear. Um... At least for the next few podcasts while I try and get used to this cold weather. Um, it is, man, it's rough. It went straight to, it went straight to winter. Fall did not come. Um, anyways, um, today's podcast is not going to have a whole bunch of knitting or crochet in it. Um, as you guys know, I've been sick and um, I just, I didn't get very much done and, um, so, um, it, I am just didn't get very much pre prepared this week. Um, but I want to start things off, um, with a quote, um, I want, um, I can, I hope this podcast can be a positive place and kind of a positive force in the world. And I hope to kind of inspire you guys. And so here's a quote I found. Um, it's supposed to not be copywritten, so hopefully it's not. Um, hopefully they don't make me take this down. Um, it's, it says, Happiness keeps you sweet. Trials keep you strong. Sorrow keeps you human. Failure keeps you humble. God keeps you going. And I just want to tell a quick story to go along with this. Um... Um, when, um, I first started losing my vision, um, when I was, um, near the senior, my senior year of high school, um, I realized that I was going to have to stay close, uh, to home and, uh, not get to go away to college with all my friends, uh, like I had planned. And, um, I was really upset about that. And, um... But, um, if you look close at any situation, there's always a positive and everything always happens like it's supposed to be and everything always works out like it's supposed to be. And if you look close enough, there's a positive in every situation. And I actually met my husband because, um, when I moved out, um, the place I moved into, I met, um, that's where I met my husband, um, is, uh, through the place place where I moved um so um and um you know on the bright side I have a chauffeur chauffeur constantly driving me around places and I don't have to see myself get old and wrinkly so I mean there's always positives to every situation and um I that's one thing I just want people to to always look on the brighter side of things and start stop dwelling on the negatives and start looking for positives. Um, because if you look at any negative situation, you can always find a positive. If not, then there's always positive that comes out of situations in the end. And I really think that everything happens for a reason. And, um, you know, if I didn't have kidney disease, I probably wouldn't have this YouTube channel because one of the reasons that, um, I started this YouTube channel was so I could, um, spread the word about organ donation. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. Um, so I, that's just one thing I just really want to tell people. Um, but anyways... I just wanted to start doing these quotes, um, at least every podcast, 
Um, I might do them, you know, every now and then um, on other um, on other um, videos that I show. Uh, I'm not going to do a story every time, so. Um, but anyways, um, let me show you what I've been working on. If you saw my live chat, then you saw uh, this knit wrap I'm working on. Um, I haven't gotten that much further. I've done a few more rows. You should be able to see it more clearly now. Um, I love this yarn. This is one of the best yarns I've worked with. It's Dream Spun by Yarn Bee. It's, um, it's a, uh, number five weight yarn, a bulky weight yarn. Um, I, I just love the yarn. It doesn't show mistakes. It's easy to work with. It does split sometimes, um, so that's a little bit annoying, but, um, other than that, it's a great yarn. It's super soft. It's 20% merino. Um, which is also nice, um, this, um, and the rest, I believe, is acrylic. Um, I'm not sure if they still sell it. It was on their clearance. I got it for a dollar, um, or a little bit over a dollar. Um, I'm hoping they still have it. Um, a lot of the stuff that was on their clearance, they were just clearancing out the, um, the colorways. Um, so I'm hoping they still carry the yarn, because I'd love to get more of it. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, they'll still have it. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about, um, uh, these knitting needles that, um, I got, um, that I'm working with. These knitting needles I got on Amazon, uh, um, these are great. They came in a, uh, package of, um, um, I want to say like maybe 10 of them. Uh, 10 cents in sizes um, like 2 millimeter through 10 millimeter, I believe. And um, I'll, I'll link them below. Um, they're great. They're very smooth. The size is stamped clearly um, on the end. Um, I believe it's burned in, so it's not going to wear off. Um, and um, I've got point protectors on there. Those didn't come with it. Um, but the points are are the right sharpness. They're not too sharp. They're not too dull. Um, there's not. They're smooth. There's not any catches or anything on them. I just love them. I think they're great to work with, especially for a beginner. Um, so I will link those below. I'm not sponsored or don't get any kickbacks or anything. Um, but I just when I find something good, I like to tell you guys about it because I know a lot of you. Um, a lot of you guys like. Um, uh, are learning how to knit like I am. So I thought I'd tell you guys about it. And everyone likes a good deal. Um, the next thing I finished, and I just have to weave in the ends, is, um, is this, um, it's my doggy poncho. And it ended up a little bit big on the sides, so I just have to kind of weave in the, um, I just have to kind of weave in the ends a little bit, um, or weave in, or hem, I have to hem in the sides a little bit, sorry, having trouble talking. Um, but anyways, that's what it looks like. Um, the last row kind of went in a little, and it didn't go in that bad. I probably only missed like a stitch or two. Um, but because it was for my dog and she's probably going to tear it up within a second of me putting it on her, I honestly didn't go. Normally I would go back and totally re redo it. But since she's probably going to scratch and tear it up right away, I just, I left it and didn't redo it. Um, but I don't want you guys to think normally. Normally I would redo it if I made a mistake. I wouldn't just leave it that way. So I don't want you guys to think like I, my work is normally that bad. Normally I fix mistakes when I make them. But I told myself I wasn't going to stress out over making a doggy poncho, you know, for my dog. Because, you know, she's honestly going to tear it up within a few minutes of wearing it because she has really severe allergies and she's constantly scratching. 
and I just, I know her, and I just know it's going to be a mess within probably five minutes of putting it on her, and um, I'm, I'm going to make her a um, scarf, um, I think, because um, she's honestly going to tear that up pretty quickly, um, so I think I'm going to make her a scarf to go around her neck instead, um, just in case. That way, if she tears that up, I have something as backup um, for the contest because I, I'm pretty sure she's going to tear that up right away. And I also have a uh, matching sombrero um, that goes with that. I was going to do the one that um, goes with it in the pattern, but um, I changed my mind because, like, I, I think it might be a little too advanced for me. I'm still... I'm. St I've been crocheting for a few months now, but a hat just really scares me. I don't know why, but the thought of doing a hat just scares me. And I'm running out of time before the uh, contest. And um, so I, I just thought it'd be easier just to buy a hat. Um, I will uh, I will take a video of, you guys, of it for you guys um, of the two costumes together. I'm about to show you, um, I started the other costume, um, for the, um, for my Basset Hound, um, we're, we should get a foster soon. Um, for the foster, I'm doing a triangle shawl. Um, and so I started that. Um, there's that. Um, so I started a triangle shawl and it's going to be the same, um, it's going to be the same colors. And to match Ellie's costume. And um, I decided to do a shawl for the Basset Hound because we're going to be getting in different fosters and um, they're going to be totally different sizes. And so I thought, you know, a shawl is going to be best because that way I can, it doesn't matter what size they are, you know, a shawl, you can just wrap around them. So, um, that's why I decided to do a shawl instead of a poncho. Um, I figured that would be better for sizing. Um, but, um, the other thing I wanted to tell you about, um, and I got sidetracked, um, I started talking about my other projects. Um, when I was talking about knitting needles, I meant to talk about these knitting needles also. Um, this is a set by Premier Yarns. Um, it's, um... It goes from, um, let's see, um, they're acrylic, and it's U.S. size 11 to U.S. size, I think, 3, and, uh, or U.S. size 4, I'm sorry, and um, they're acrylic, the, um, they were only $32.99, um, the, um, I've used them, I've used them a few times now. The um, the connections seem like they're really good. Um, you know, um, they didn't... The only bad thing that I would really have to say about them is that um, they did not come with... Um, here's a closer look at them. Uh, they did not come with... Um, and they did not come with instructions. So if you're a beginner and you don't know what all, and they're interchangeable. Um, if you're a beginner, um, you know, you don't know what all the different parts are. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys about them and I got them on Amazon. Uh, they were on sale at the time when I got them for $32.99. Um, so, um. I don't know if they're always that price. You know, Amazon, the prices go up and down so much. You know, you never know um, what the price is going to be. But um, I will link that below also if you guys are interested in that. Um, again, I don't get any kickbacks or anything. But um, I thought you guys might be interested in that. Um, the next thing is... I wanted to get your guys' opinion on something. I've had this yarn for a while. It's a Walmart Mainstays yarn. It's a chunky, uh, chunky Chanel Mainstays 
yarn. Here it is. This yarn was only five eighty eight. It's a beautiful yarn, but I've had it forever, and I've been going back and forth for so long trying to decide what I want to do with it, and I th I think what I want to do, it what I would like to do, and I'm not sure if it'll work, is I have a 25 millimeter, or um, in U.S. it's a 50, uh, 50 size Tunisian crochet hook. But I don't know if that's big enough for this yarn. I guess I could just try it and see. I would like to either make, I think I, I have five skeins of it, but I might be able to get more. They might still have it um, in the store. Um, um, I'd like to make a Tunisian crochet blanket, but I'm not sure if that will work. I guess my question to you guys is, should I make a Tunisian crochet blanket or should I make a knit blanket? I've been going back and forth forever whether I should make a Tunisian crochet or a knit. I'm kind of thinking Tunisian crochet because it's more unique and there are less people. I've never seen a Tunisian crochet blanket in this thick, chunky yarn. And so it kind of set me apart and um, I've never seen anyone else do it. And so it'd be kind of neat to see, I think. But maybe I haven't seen it for a reason because maybe it won't work. Um, because I'm not sure if a 50 size hook is even big enough for yarn this thick. So I'm not sure if it'll work. I guess I could just try it and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, I just go back to knitting with it or... You know, I don't know, maybe I, I even crochet something. I don't know. I can't decide. I've had this yarn forever. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do. Um, yeah, um, that's really all I have for today's show. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like today's show, um, subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button. Um, uh, remember, you guys could save lives by checking that um, uh, box on your driver's license that says that you'll be an organ donor, um, or by becoming a living organ donor. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me, and happy crafting. Bye.